Hello. Hello. Welcome to Cameroonian Pavilion at Expo 2020 Dubai. Uh, Please introduce yourself. Yes, I am uh, Hans Akam. I am the director of Cameroon Pavilion. And uh, I am also a member of Cameroon Consulate General of Cameroon in UAE. I am the Deputy Consul General. Does yes, Cameroon uh, have a good connection with the UAE? Absolutely. We are having a good connection with UAE, a good relationship. Uh, that is uh, growing up uh, every day. We are trying to reinforce uh, our ties, our relationship. And uh, now we have given the opportunity to, uh, to explain what is Cameroon and uh, to uh, show to the entire world that Cameroon is a very, very uh, good and nice country and that Cameroon is a stable country. And uh, what is showcased in this pavilion shows exactly uh, what is Cameroon all about. So Here, uh, how, how big is the population? The population of Cameroon is uh, almost 26, 27 million people. Uh, we have in Cameroon two official languages, uh, like English and French, and we also have local tongues, like almost 240 <laughs> local tongues. So everybody speaks French and English? Yeah, basically everybody speaks French and English because uh, these are the languages that are uh, taught in the school, from the primary school uh, till the university. So this is our pavilion. We have the uh, picture of our head of state, His Excellency Paul Bia, the President of the Republic of Cameroon. And so uh, when we continue just directly uh, uh, lower here, we have uh, the lions. The lions, that uh, lion is a, a symbol. Lion is uh, the figure of Cameroon power. And don't forget that our national team, Indomitable Lions. Yeah, they are called Indomitable Lions. And uh, one of uh, the icon, one of the legend of uh, Cameroon uh, football player, uh, Samuel Etofis, uh, who played uh, in many, many teams in uh, Europe. Okay? And one of now, the best players in the uh, history of football, yes, no? The history of football, yes, obviously. And is now uh, want to lead the Cameroon Football Federation. Uh, the election will be uh, taken part on the 13th of December, very so, soon. Uh, you are in a barrage for the World Cup. Yes, we are so in a barrage for the World Cup. So it's very exciting you could qualify. Absolutely. We want to qualify, we need to qualify. There is no World Cup without Cameroon. It, make, it doesn't make sense. So we are sure we are going to be, to be qualified. Does it? Yeah. Uh, when I was a kid, uh, I loved watching, uh, what's his name, uh, the, the player who is a little bit older. And Roger Mila? Yeah, Roger Mila. Yes. That was amazing. Yes, absolutely. That was 1990? 1990. Right? Yeah, yes. that was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Roger yeah. Mila, obviously, and you don't, you, maybe you don't know that Roger Mila visited this pavilion one month ago. Nice. Yes, he came here what and... Is he, uh, what is he doing now? Now he's, uh, he's having a, a, a very, uh, let's say, great role to play in Cameroon in terms of, uh, you know, educating uh, the youth and advising the head of state in the sports domain, uh, he was, mostly uh, in football. I remember, wasn't he like 41 or how old was he? When 42 he was, years old. 42 years when old in the World Cup? When he played the 1994 World Cup in the US <laughs> and he was the oldest scorer of World Cup in 1994. I think he's giving an idea for, uh, to the tennis player from my country, Roger Federer. Just continue. It, no need to stop. Absolutely. It's his job. Why do yes. you need to stop? Just continue. No, he continue. He yeah. continue because uh, not only in the domain of football, Roger Mila also was the president of uh, handball, handball uh, team, handball uh, team, team in Cameroon. Oh, yeah. Tone handball team. And he's uh, uh, also gathering people also, uh, let's say, promoting other sports, right? Nice. Now, uh, I want you to discover the pavilion. And as you see, we have uh, in Cameroon, Cameroon is a diversified country. And in terms of culture, these are uh, our products. Uh, these uh, artifacts are uh, basically made with uh, wood, and this is bronze, 
Okay, you can see a mask, a face mask uh, in uh, in bronze, made with bronze. It expresses the um, uh, the Bamun man from the western region of Cameroon. And here you have also some uh, little elephants made uh, with wood. Okay, this is a decorative wooden elephant representing the wide uh, variety of animals in Cameroon. This is a big cat. Yes, this is a big cat made uh, with bronze also. Okay. And here. So uh, some of these, uh, the tradition is going back centuries? Yes, the tradition is going back centuries. And this is an expression of uh, our old history. Okay. Uh, this is even history before the uh, phenomenon of colonization, right? And here you have uh, the uh, map of Cameroon and the national anthem of Cameroon uh, sing, singing by, the, uh, by two kids uh, explaining how the uh, Cameroonian anthem uh, was written and what is exactly uh, this anthem saying. Right. This is another mask, another uh, face mask. And here we have uh, the place where we uh, showcase some projects uh, on the field of education and health. So um, uh, is there a lot of positive developments happening in the last few years in Cameroon? Things are getting better and better for everybody? Yes, absolutely. You know, Cameroon, we have uh, uh, given the proof to the entire world that uh, we are very resilient concerning uh, some uh, great crisis all over the world because corona uh, in corona we recorded very very lower uh, cases of uh, much much lower than all the european countries much lower than and all less the european uh, countries. less this, uh, deaths and less hospitalizations less, de death, less hospitalizations because in cameroon we have uh, both uh, modern medicine but also traditional medicine yes that's why maybe we think that uh, we need to encourage people who are practicing also traditional medicine and uh, you're treating the treatments absolutely there are treatments there are treatments and uh, these treatments have uh, met their proof that uh, this uh, sector of medicine is also efficient maybe uh, some of the european countries should learn from Cameroon. yes absolutely Many countries should learn about Cameroon. This is, for example, a, a know-how of Cameroon because uh, this is a project uh, that is conducted by Madiba and Nature and a private association in Cameroon, a non-governmental association. And with recycled empty uh, plastic bottle, we uh, succeed in, you know, uh, uh, let's say, creating some forms and this is a boat. This is a boat made with empty bottle plastic. And it actually works. Yes, it works. Some, right. of, some of our fishers use it to, to, to go and fish. Wow. And, you know, and it also resolve a problem, the problem of the degradation of nature. Like right. uh, you see how people are, let's say, throwing waste in the seas and the oceans. And we gather all this uh, waste and we try to recycle it and we, it, to give us this uh, kind of uh, item. This is the Madiba Nature, the name of uh, the non governmental association. Uh, and is the Cameroon uh, using the, the fusion reactor in the sky, the sun, sun power, right? Yes, it's, it's, it's a, is there a lot of sun, sun yes, solar power? Yes, there is a lot of sun in Cameroon. And uh, it is true that if uh, we had some uh, good, let's say good capital, good financing, we could enhance our energy production capacity with the sun. And we also fight against uh, uh, the degradation of the, uh, the, the ozone. So we encourage uh, green energy also. Maybe uh, this is what partnerships with the uh, UAE or other, other countries could do, is bring investment to Absolutely. do clean power. Absolutely. Right? And that is the, the, object, the main objective of this pavilion, okay? Not only to showcase our product, our artifacts, but also to look 
for a, a partnership to look for investors. And you continue with uh, other artifacts uh, made by wood, mostly wood because we have a lot of forest in Cameroon. We have a lot of wood in Cameroon, right? Uh, uh, some, some of these art, uh, artists are famous. Uh, uh, they're demanded around the world. People can find their, their art in Cameroon or other place also? Yes, other place also because from Cameroon, you know, some uh, um, people uh, order some objects and uh, from Cameroon. And these projects are well sold the world over. So this is uh, one aspect and the other aspect is agriculture. You know, agriculture is uh, one of our, let's say, greatest activity that uh, comprises uh, at least 60% of the population in Cameroon. So agriculture, we produce everything in Cameroon. That's why Cameroon is also considered as an Africa in miniature. Because all the food items you have in Africa, we produce in Cameroon. Uh, there, uh, the next step, as far as I understand, is Europe should import more agricultural products from Africa. Yes, but Europe should also try to, uh, let's say, enhance the capacity of transformation, right? Because if Africa has uh, enough means to transform its agricultural products, it will be good for the world over. Not only import, not only export or import the, uh, the raw materials or let's say uh, the uh, non-manufactured product. We need to, put, to manufacture our product, we need to transform our product so that we can add the value of those products also. So, uh, for example, if there's a cacao or is there cacao? Yes, we and have then cacao. And you would make the chocolate have, and not only sell the cacao. Not only sell the cacao, but transform in order to have chocolate, in order to have good, let's say, good It'd quality be a Cameroon brand. Yes. Not just selling to the Swiss chocolate. Yes. Maybe they buy a lot, but they, yes. that's great. I and like at that it. time, we need these exchanges of uh, uh, know-how, these exchanges of technology also. And what can be done to make sure that the farmer is getting a fair uh, share of the revenue from selling all these goods, right? Absolutely. Not, not that, like that, is the role, that is the duty of the state at that time, to organize the farmers and to, let's say, organize also the process of selling the process of production also. And that is what our state is doing now. All right, yes. because uh, it, it makes no sense if the, the agricultural product is sold for like $1, but then in the store it's $100 and the farmer only gets $1. It's not fair, right? Yes, it needs to be. A, this is mostly, yeah. a, 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 let's say, issues that we have in Africa in general. We produce goods, we produce food, but you know, our producers, our farmers, are not well, uh, let's say, uh, compensated yeah. because of this deterioration of uh, uh, exchange terms, right? right? So it will be suitable that our farmers and our producers also have the due revenue of their labor. Uh, uh, what are you saying here about the 32% by 30, 2035? So um, there will be less use of gas. Yes, this is one of the objectives of the uh, uh, COP21, right? where uh, states have decided to reduce uh, emission gas, uh, this uh, bad gas that destruct the, uh, the, the ozone to 30, 32%. And we have started in Cameroon uh, to, uh, let's say, uh, uh, reduce activities that are deteriorating the, uh, the, the nature. All right. Yeah. But definitely uh, Europe, uh uh, USA, UAE, all these other countries need to come and contribute in terms of technology, helping with technology, investment, and Absolutely. everything to make it happen. And sometimes we have technology, sometimes we have uh, know-how, but we don't have, let's say, uh, investment, we don't have means, money, let's say, to develop our know-how and to develop our technology. Uh, what is France doing with Cameroon? We have a very long cooperation, a very long relationship with France. Don't forget that France uh, is one of the countries that has colonized Cameroon. And uh, Cameroon has been put under mandate of France uh, during a long time. 
And that is how France, like the, the, the language, French is one of our inheritance. Like also uh, English, uh, because Cameroon was also colonized by uh, England. All right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, people then walk this way here and see more and more artifacts. Absolutely. Walking this way. Absolutely. And Absolutely. Um, you have some uh, famous music, right? Yes. There is uh, Manu Dibango, famous Cameroonian saxophonist, a legend, one of the best saxophonists uh, ever in the world, and who uh, died, unfortunately, uh, last year of uh, COVID-19 in France. So Manu Dibango is uh, a reference when we talk about music in Cameroon. And if you visit our uh, virtual pavilion expo, you will hear, okay, yeah. in the back, the music of Manu Dibango. And yeah. this is uh, Roger Mila picture. Roger Mila, I talked to you uh, a few minutes ago. Roger Mila, a legend of football. You know that football in Cameroon is uh, our, let's say, our Religion. <laughs> Our religion, yeah. is, if I can say so. Yeah. Yes. All right. And this is the, the space that we, we want to, um, let's say, reserve for football. Don't forget that Cameroon is hosting the 33rd edition of African Football Cup of Nations. That will be uh, starting on the 9th of January, 2022. And these, these are the, uh, the videos of uh, some of our players like Samuel Eto'o, uh, like um, Tawamba Kana. Tawamba Kana is uh, one of our young, uh, let's say, talent who is playing in Saudi Arabia and is one of the best scorers in Saudi Arabia Championship. Oh. All right. Uh, sorry, the battery ran out. The battery? Yeah. No. Okay, let's continue. Yeah. Okay, I was explaining that this uh, is uh, a, the lion made with bronze metal, bronze material. And this is uh, the symbol of uh, Cameroon power. And you know, uh, this is uh, the latest space reserved for the, uh, for the African Football Cup of Nations. So I was saying that during, the, uh, during this uh, tournament, we are going to video project some uh, football matches here. And we are going to be having a special decoration for the occasion, right? Okay, right. this when, when are the barrage matches for the World Cup? It's happening soon, no? It's happening soon. And I was saying that at the barrage we have 10 nations, 10 countries, and we need to select five countries. So I think Cameroon will be uh, playing with another country, uh, maybe in one or two matches to be qualified. And I told you that I know we are going to be qualified because without Cameroon, football, the World Cup is, yeah. has can, no sense. They could just cancel. <laughs> just <laughs> cancel the World Cup. Yeah. All right. So maybe to, to finish with our presentation, I would like yeah. to uh, show you the, um, this is our flag, Cameroonian yeah. flag, and uh, also other artifacts, other uh, items. And here you were talking about uh, uh, solar energy. Uh, this is, uh, these are some of our projects concerning the production of uh, renewable energy, for example, here. And uh, we, uh, Cameroon enjoys a wide diversity of climates and terrains from coastline to mountains uh, that give us the possibility to produce a lot of uh, energy. There, there needs to be just a gi giant amount of solar power and with a smart grid and a s energy storage. Yeah. Uh, and then you could have clean energy. Yeah. Absolutely, and, and uh, some countries need to come and uh, and invest and make sure it's and have support Absolutely. for this project. Support for this project, and it That's could happen it. very quickly, no? A few it years. can happen very quickly, very quickly. If uh, we have uh, the necessary uh, investment, we are going to be having full of energy in Cameroon and full of clean energy, right? Nice. Yes. And uh, here is committed to increase the contribution of renewable energy. Yeah. And this is a mask? Yeah, these are also uh, other masks. Yeah. So how many uh, local dialects are there, Cameroon? Local dialects, I was talking about almost 240 local dialects. Wow. 
and yes, that matches with the different. tribes. That matches with ethnic groups also. Completely uh, different. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, it's completely them. different. It is true that we have some uh, some groups, some communities, uh, where inside we have languages uh, that are a little bit similar, but on the whole, we have more than 200 and uh, 30, more than almost 240 uh, local local language, local tongues. And um, do everybody in the camera, does everybody have access to internet with the SIM cards? Is it working everywhere or is needs a lot more progress for this? More and more, the population has access to internet, more and more. It depends also uh, on the, uh, the capacity, you know, uh, of people. It's to... not easy in a village, right? Yes, because the, the, yeah. all the entire country is covered now by uh, the network, right? And we have many operators in Cameroon, in the sector, in the field of, uh, let's say, uh, mobile telephone and uh, digital. So uh, people are getting more and more informed about what is happening over the world because uh, of this uh, access to internet. And how is the business with the tourism? Uh, is it important Cameroon to have tourists come? Absolutely. Cameroon is developing its sector of tourism nowadays. We have more and more uh, hotels, restaurants, and we have so much nice sites to visit. Okay? Yeah. Like, like uh, here? Yeah, we have many parks. We have uh, uh, a lot of reserves also, like Reserve Juja. Uh, we have uh, Gorillas, Gorillas Reserve in the south Gorillas? of Cameroon. Yes, Gorillas Reserve in yeah. south of Cameroon. And uh, uh, it's very important to, to, to preserve them Absolutely. and give them a space. Absolutely. And to make to, them... To, to, live, to let them live in their natural, uh, let's say, environment. Yes, uh, we are doing it. And we have a lot of parks also. We have a reserve. Uh, Reserve Juja. Reserve Juja is uh, classified as a uh, uh, UNESCO uh, UNESCO site that is protected by uh, the United Nations. Okay, right. and now we have this uh, little shop uh, showcasing the products, agricultural products of Cameroon. We have coffee. How is uh, Cameroon coffee taste? Cameroon coffee is so nice. One of the best? One of the best in Africa, Cameroon coffee. If you taste Cameroon coffee, you won't be able to drink something else. Okay? Right. I can assure you. We have also cocoa. We have started producing our chocolate. And uh, you can see how far the variety of, uh, of uh, this uh, process is going. All right. And... Uh uh, it's a good place to invest because the economy is growing. Cameroon is a good place to invest, not only in terms of economy, but first in terms of geographical location. Okay? Cameroon is located at the heart, at the center of Africa, at the center, at the bottom of the Gulf of Guinea. And we are surrounded by at least six or seven countries. We have in our back Nigeria with a market of more than 200 million population and we have also all the countries of Samak and the Cameroon is supplying some countries in the interland like Chad. Chad doesn't have any access to the sea so Cameroon is supplying Chad and Cameroon is also supplying African Central, Central African Republic. So you see the importance of Cameroon at the heart of East and West Africa. Cameroon is a passage, a strategical passage in the Gulf of Guinea, uh, between the uh, African, East African, and West African side. So, um, but also it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's great for an investor to invest in a country with a future growth potential. Absolutely. So the, maybe first this is a, a century stable, of Africa, right? First of it's going to grow. First of all, a stable country. First of all, a stable country. Politically, a stable country in terms of, uh, let's say, the security, right? the security of investment and the, uh, the, the incentive that the government is putting in place for the investors. So it, Cameroon is a very good risk in terms of investment. That is how you see many investors now are rushing to Cameroon. Yes. All right, and uh, flight connections, there's direct flights from uh, Paris, but other places in yes. Europe, direct? Yes. 
We have yeah. direct flights of many companies yeah. uh, from Europe to Cameroon. And uh, Qatar Airways, maybe? Not, uh, not yet Qatar Emirates. Airways. Emirates, we are working with Emirates because we uh, signed an agreement with UAE uh, last year. The Minister of Transport from Cameroon came here and signed an agreement. Uh, let's say, uh, air, uh, uh, how to call it? Agreement on the domain of uh, air flight. So air flight agreement. And we hope that very soon we are going to be having direct flights between Cameroon and Dubai, for example, to enhance the That exchanges. would be fantastic because people can easily fly, Absolutely. stop in Dubai, Dubai Absolutely. and continue to Cameroon. And continue to Cameroon. From all over Europe, Asia, And you know that everywhere. Cameroon, according to this strategical point, if you supply Cameroon, you are able to supply uh, uh, many countries surrounded Cameroon in Central Africa also. So it's a very strategical point. Maybe there's uh, incentives also for the investment in terms of uh, uh, taxes or how it works with, uh, when foreign companies come and invest. Absolutely, absolutely. I was yeah. talking about this incentive, these incentive measures. Like we have also in Cameroon certain free zone oh, that encourage people to come and invest, that encourage foreign investors to come and settle and start their business during a certain period without paying any taxes, okay? These are the measures the government has put in place to uh, enhance, to uh, promote the investment in Cameroon. And this is what you talk about here at the Expo. People Absolutely. from all over the world coming here and Absolutely. you talk about this. We are receiving many people here who are very interested in Cameroon. They want to know what is Cameroon, not only in terms of football, but also in terms of a country, a developing country that has a lot of potentials, a lot of opportunities. And, uh Everybody is welcome, every passport, the whole world. Absolutely. This, uh, am, just get uh, on the border, the deputy, stamp, and you come in. I am the Deputy Consul General of Cameroon in UAE. I deliver myself many visas every day. So we don't refuse visas to people who want to go to Cameroon. Mostly the investors. They are welcome, and they can go to Cameroon each time they want. The climate is good. People are welcoming. Everything is uh, nice in Cameroon. So, I'm waiting for you in Cameroon. Thank you so much.